Good morning from Pacific Toyota. Today we're taking a look at the 2016 Holden Colorado Dual Cub LTZ. Before we go too much into the car, I'd just like to give a quick introduction as to who we are. So as I mentioned, we're Pacific Toyota. We're located here at 235 Mulgrave Road in Cairns. We operate out of two used car sites, this one here being our main site. And we also have a second used car site located at 77 Mulgrave Road. Just over the street, we've got service centre, and a parts and accessories department, as well as new car Toyota and Lexus. Coming back to the vehicle, this one here has got approximately 45,000 kilometers on it. It's got one previous registered keeper and a full service record and has been kept in impeccable condition. As we go around the car, I will point out if there's any imperfections such as stone chips or scratches uh, and give you a good idea of the service record as well. So being the LTZ model, it does have a lot of additional features in comparison to the lower spec models. You've got the nice black alloy wheels there, um, which are all in really good condition. And you've got all terrain tires on as well, which are all Bridgestone and there's plenty of tread on those ones. The car comes with front parking sensors, which are located just at the bottom of the front bumper bar there. This car has been fitted with the black bonnet protector. So as far as stone chips go, it doesn't really have any whatsoever. mirrors and then the matching chrome door handles as well As you can see in the video, the car's got the canopy fitted to it, which is all colour coded to the vehicle itself. Uh, all three doors on the canopy open up like the one at the back there. And they're completely lockable as well, so it's fully secured should you have any belongings in there overnight. Right, we've got the rear parking sensors at the back of the car as well. Currently has a tow bar fitted to it also. And then there's a reversing camera, which is just mounted in there and the image for that displays in the center screen inside the car. The car's also got a tub liner fitted to it. Which as you can see, it's all excellent condition inside. You've got the tie down points as well in there, so you can secure a load. Now there is some really faint scratch just there. And there's also a little chip just here in the paint as well, but nothing too severe.
we'll take a look at the interior now. So just like the outside, the interior has been kept in impeccable condition. There's no tears, rips or stains in any of the fabrics inside the car, including the carpeted areas as well. And you've got quite a spacious back seat. You'd comfortably fit three adults across there. The car's currently got carpet mats fitted to it both front and rear and you've got a 12 volt socket located in the back here as well for charging devices the car comes with power windows as standard there's switches for those on each individual door as well as main controls at the driver's door which we'll see in a moment coming around to the front of the car As I mentioned, here's all your controls at the driver's side. You've got a central locking button and then electric adjustable side mirrors. It comes with automatic headlights, switch located down here for those, as well as front fog lights. Automatic transmission with Triptronic, so you can manually control your gear change should you choose to. And then you've got an on the fly four wheel drive system. So provided the car's going under 80 kilometers an hour, you can change into four wheel drive high. This vehicle's got a few added safety features on top of the standard features that come in the car. It's got lane keep assist, which you've got controls for down there. Traction control is there, downhill ascent, and the parking sensor switch, so you can turn those off. And it also comes with collision cruise. So if the car in front of you slows down, your vehicle in turn will then slow itself down as well to maintain a safe distance behind it, um, as well as standard cruise control, obviously. On the left hand side of the steering wheel we have our phone controls as well as radio controls so the car comes standard with bluetooth connectivity you can link in your mobile phone take hands-free calls it's also got the voice activation there as well so it is 100 percent a hands-free service this is the center screen here i'm just going to turn the car on quickly so we can have a look at what that looks like So you've got sat nav built in there, nice big screens, it's very easy to see. And as I mentioned before about the camera and the sensors, you can hear those ones beeping. You can turn them off so you don't have to worry about it. It gives you a good indication of what's behind you as well as the guidelines to help get you into a parking space. Also, if you plan on towing with the car, being able to see the tow bar just there makes it very easy to line up trailers and boats. The car comes with climate control, so you can pick your temperature here. And then your fan control is over the other side there as well. Back to the home screen and on there you can see your connectivity options. Just gonna check out the service book now. So the car was serviced at 2,531 Ks also then serviced again at 34,005. Sorry, I've missed a service in there. It also had an additional service done at 16,000, so the service history is all up to date. Uh, and the next service on this particular car won't be due until 49,000 kilometers. Just taking a look at the odometer, you can see here it's got 42,130 on the clock. So really low case. We'll move around to the front of car now and we will take a look at the engine bay and have a listen to the engine. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video and I look forward to speaking with you soon.